Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Boy, holla. This is where people click off. For today's video, guys, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to parallel park a car. This is where you park park parallel to a car or you like this with a car and you just skirt in like this or you can even go like this which i'm going to be showing you in the video skirt and do like a drifting i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it in like the real world my driving instructor taught me how to do not very tight spaces just for the test within two car lengths if maybe you need to get into one and a bit car lengths then this is the video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it step by step and yeah, some tips on how to make it easier for yourself. So let me quickly throw out some tips for you guys straight away so that you're not uh, trying to parallel park behind like Bugattis, anybody's car really. If you have never done parallel parks before, even if you can't, if you tried it and you can't really do it, do it in a quiet place where there's literally going to be no cars. Literally like maybe one or two passing every 10 minutes or something. And this is a tip my girlfriend actually gave me, but try it with no cars there. It sounds stupid, but literally, it kind of gives you some reference points to the curb, basically. So you need to know when to back, when to start straightening up, or else you're going to hit the curb, you know what I mean? If you are going to do it behind a car, there's a car right there. If you're going to do it behind a car, don't do it with any of the cars behind you, basically. So just do it with a, behind a car. Go slow when you're doing it, really take your time. Um, and keep trying. So let me go straight ahead with the steps on how to do a parallel park. I'm gonna quickly play this video. It was a really rubbish explanation on how to do it, but it was in the moment, so I was kind of concentrating. There was other cars around. So basically, how you'd parallel park is you'd pull along the space, you'd come right up to the car like this. And then, lower the mirror, and then, and about 45 degrees, straighten up the wheel, bang it in, and then for a few meters from the few feet from the curb, do that, and then swing it back in. And then Honestly, once you guys master this, you're gonna be pulling them chicks or dudes or dudettes up to you so yeah step one first step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to seek out a parallel park this could be a car for practice which is this car if there's two cars and you want to go in the middle of the two cars you need to look if it's big enough for your car because it's it's like booty if you want a big booty okay you'll understand how big your car is eventually the next thing after looking you want to try you want to park your car like parallel to the space that you're parking in if you've got, if this is your first time, make sure it is a large amount of room. If it, if you're doing it, if you're trying to park into a tight spot, just make sure it's big enough and you will understand basically once you've started to practice parallel parking, how big your car is. So basically all I do to make sure it's big enough is I know where the front of the car is and then I look at the back of the car and if the car's not, if there's a good amount of room to actually park, I will park. The next step you want to do is pull up alongside the car if you have a mirror that goes down, I do, uh, put that down. It helps so much if you, don't scratch your, if you don't want to scratch your wheels. If you don't, you're going to have to make some sort of reference point or get blind spot mirrors to see where the curb is. And yeah, that reference point is like if the curb disappears on the bottom of the mirror, then, then you start turning in. Basically, you want to park with a few inches between like the wing mirrors of each car you don't want to be too close that you're inside the bloody car you don't want to be too far that you that you can barely see the car so yeah once you're parallel to the car basically the front or the back of the car ends where your back of your car ends once you're parallel with the car this is always going to depend on what car you have some cars turn better than others or more wide than others mine doesn't turn wide at all you want to turn to about 45 degrees now this is quite hard to obviously understand but here's a 45 degree angle you want to get roughly that so when when doing this full lock and the reversing bit you want to do it as slow as possible you want to literally just use the clutch so that you properly have control over the car basically once you've got your angle basically you have to straighten the wheel and basically keep an eye on the curb because here's you you are now like this and then you want to keep coming back uh, to the curb 
Once you have straightened the wheel and you're coming back, you want to keep an eye on the curb. Depending on your car, you're going to have to turn at different points. Once the back wheel is about, once it about that much or that much, depending on your car, again, you want to do a full lock to the right to bring the, to bring the front of the car back around and into the space. If you're not close enough to the curb once you've done that full lock, about halfway through, if you can see on your mirror that you're not close enough, you can untighten the lock so you can turn the wheel a little bit a little bit less you can go a little bit more towards the curb and then do full lock again if you are too close to the curb you can just pull forward and then go back and if you're still too close to the curb you can pull forward and back and just shimmy till you're perfect in, in line once you are parallel to the car you want to obviously straighten up your wheel and end with it like this so yeah, basically that that is how to do a parallel park. Now in tighter spots, um, in parallel parking, a lot of it is going to be turning in quite tight, 45 degrees, coming in, and you might not even be in properly the space, but you're just going to want to keep shimmying forward and backwards um, until you're sh in the space. This one's, this one's per Oi! That's banged it. That is my best one yet. I've got it on my GoPro. So yeah guys, hopefully that was kind of informative. I'm not too sure if I explained that very well. Tell me if you guys try this and um, it is quite fun once you get it properly. Unfortunately that is the end of today's video guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you later faces in my next video.